Lavish perks and cushy amenities are nothing new in Silicon Valley. But Zynga appears to have one up the competition with its new headquarters in San Francisco. It all starts here, in this contraption they call the Time Travel Tube. This used to be a retail building way back. It was conceived as such. Um, tell us where we are and what you did to turn the building into the way it looks today. It was originally created as a retail structure. So this, had, this was all full of escalators that we removed so that we could actually see each other across the, the, the atrium. Hey, Ify. There's a talent war going on in Silicon Valley. And companies like Zynga are competing with giants like Google and little startups for the very same engineers. Singa has gone all out to attract and retain these people. Free food? Check. Blue bottle coffee? Check. Pet insurance? Check. There's even yoga and acupuncture. This is our, uh, our fitness center. What's this room? This is our this sports, kind of exercise. This is our sports court, and right now it's set up for uh, a sort of uh, creative kettlebell type of class. I, I don't even know if I, could, if I can lift one of the, oh, this is a light one, it's not bad. Even you could, you could handle this one. Even a writer. <laughs> Even a writer. So it seems that in the, these, this day and age, you can't grow a company in Silicon Valley without offering free gourmet meals. So uh, how many people do you feed every day? So we're currently serving about 12 tons of food a week, which is feeding, oh, I'd say about 16,000 meals per week. So that would include breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day.